legitimately people, legitimately, um, they will give you two times to be able to claim that. After that, they're going to say, you've had an awful lot of incidences, apparently, and they will still issue one, but it will only be good for a year, and then you have to redo it, but then you can redo it all. Okay, so don't don't piss these people off. There's some very nice people in there, okay? Um, put your information in there and submit it. Once you submit the book and or card, the card will be uh, cut on the upper right corner, which invalidates a card. The passport book will have two circular holes punched in it, vertical, which means that it's also invalidated. Okay, and they usually return those, but they're pretty much junk. You can keep them as a keepsake if you want. At least that's what they told me. Um, other than that, the last part of it, we're going to go back up here. Acts or conditions. Um, once again, this is also newer. This was given to me by one of my friends uh, in Maine, um, uh, who is an accomplished um, U.S. national, um, and verified the five-star car to me, and that's how we got to this place. And you know, so thank you once again. Um, the way they did theirs was you, in acts and conditions, not the first two sentences, you ignore that, but then there's two more paragraphs after that. For those next two paragraphs, you're going to line out everything, preferably in red, but line it out, except for the words United States and Citizen, okay? United States Citizen, you do not mark off, you do not put a line through it. You're going to say everything else is legit and good standing. That's what that means, okay? Um, you just leave United States citizen alone. Before it, mark it off, and after it, mark it all, all the way off. That's what you do as a U.S. national, okay? Um, so, ultimately, that is how you do a DS-11 as a U.S. national. Um, lastly, you might want to either get your own make your own or you can buy mine uh, the explanatory statements on blacksite32.com uh, typically once you send the fee over just email me to confirm that you've sent it and I will send you the files right away please allow for uh, usually it's right away like within hours because I'm usually here you know um, but it might take a day or if you do it on a Friday or Saturday or even a late night Thursday I usually take Fridays and Saturdays off and I work hard for you guys all the rest of the days so be patient just like with the other files, if you got a, you know, a ticket or something, and y'all, and you want this information like instantly, give me some time, okay? I will, I will get it to you. Um, but day one, I mean, if it's an emergency, then put on their emergency, you know, you know, and I, I will, if I can see it, I'll get to it right away. Otherwise, I do need to have some downtime, okay? But I do appreciate you guys. I mean, it's just. 40, 50, 60 emails, you know, per accounts, you know, and do the math. If I do one minute per email, you know, and then it, it adds up, it adds up. So anyway, um, don't forget to, all the files you need, if you need them, are on my site, blacksite32.com. And that's it, guys. So you're not going to really see any more videos. I mean, that's all the stuff until they decide to change the process. And we know they will at some point in time. Um, I've given it all to you that's it so from here on out there will be additional files um, different additional videos where I'm gonna talk about more stuff like this but I think we've kind of run the gamut with the passport so congratulations for staying here thank you guys for helping to build this channel don't forget to hit the bell like subscribe on the way out don't forget to donate if you've got time and a couple extra bucks also new is you guys can um, join the wolf pack now by going to the main YouTube website headquarters for us click the join button and you can pick which financial level you guys want to choose to support the channel on an ongoing basis you can quit at any point in time every little bit helps and thank you guys for those of you who have immediately jumped on that I appreciate that you guys are pretty savvy I'm impressed alright so that's it guys be free. Enjoy being a U.S. national. Talk to you guys later. Travel safe. Travel smart. Um, the site also has some more downloads. I will continue to add new downloads. Now remember, guys, some of those are just free files that I found on there that don't have any owners. Okay, so don't bother and blame me for spelling or whatever else. Some of the ones are on there are the ones I've made. I'm just trying to provide you with free stuff that I can. Okay. Um, 
Some people are like, oh, well, there's a Declaration of Sovereignty on there. I'll just use that one. That's totally fine. You don't have to buy mine. You can use that one and modify it. Mine does have more information, especially for U.S. national stuff. There's more declarations in there. But that is a good start. By all means, it will do the job. just depends on what you want to claim on there. Like mine talks about traveling and all those other things on there that those don't. But to get your feet wet, use it if you want to use it. Get mine if you want to use it. That one's free. Mine's like 50. Whatever. Okay? Um, I will continue to still provide these files. I will still provide the... Um, you can buy all the files for $500 uh, special. That will be ongoing. Even though I'm going to wrap up this part of the passport process and whatnot, that does not mean I still won't answer questions. And remember, guys, don't send me a huge novel about what's going on in your life. Just a couple of sentences. I'll answer it quick. If you want a consultation, you got to pay for it. I'm not going to do consultations just for everybody and for free. Can't do it anymore. The channel has grown. We're almost at 6,000 people. I can't do it. The days of having a couple hundred and a thousand, even two thousand was manageable. Like I said, now I'm doing this full time and I just don't have time for all the free stuff. So I apologize for that. But So thank you for making this channel popular. Um, for those people who have subscribed or have bought a product or have joined the Wolfpack, the membership subscription, uh, I, will, I will take you guys first. Sorry, that's just how it is. You guys are paying. You guys have been there for the tire kickers out there uh, I'll get to you when I can if I can so don't be mad if I don't all right um, that's it we're there it's graduation day guys we've done it we we've been getting the the star rating which we talked about that consistently we know where all the traps are that we can find oh and remember if I had mentioned this earlier everything that you guys can do in handwriting pulls you out of their jurisdiction but remember they do want you to connect with your alter ego or the public transmitting utility, your, your name in all caps, some kind of way, which really legally is the Social Security that identifies you. You use a lot, you're utilizing it and you're saying under penalty of perjury this is information accurate, so they really shouldn't need any more than that. But they just want to keep pulling the thread out of the sweater, okay? So I've showed you guys before how to try to avoid that as much as possible. At the end of the day, if you have to use something, try to use like a state ID, create your own ID. So you can use like a state ID and then create your own ID and add that all in there. You've given them at least one thing. You've given them like two. Use a state ID, use your, your social with the brackets on there. That, that should be enough. There's enough information that they can prove that that's you. But what, like I said, they want to pull you back into their jurisdiction. Don't fall for it. Okay? You don't have to. Their applications already say you can supply all this additional information. Okay. Plus, you're giving them your birth certificate, um, or you've created your own live record of live birth. There's enough information there. Okay. You can argue these things out. Don't be afraid, because what they'll try to do is just go back and forth with you and just keep giving them little stuff. Be patient, people, because they're hoping you're going to be impatient. Oh, I got to get my card. I got to get my book. I got to travel. I'm a U.S. national. They're going to try to play on that, and they're going to try to red zone you to make some some of them, not all. Some of those agents in there, though, they will do that. And you just might be that person who got it. Even if you do this process, say, for the first time, and they red zone you, you need to provide more information or, you know, we're going to deny it. But if you just admit that you're a U.S. citizen, we'll, we'll go ahead and process it for you. Just take it. You can always update it later, but make sure you fill it out the correct way the first time. Then you can do that DS-82. And with the DS-82... You can then send in all this information again right from your house. You don't have to go in and do all that other stuff. Got you feel me? All right. Remember, I'm just a crazy guy in a blue box providing educational information for U.S. nationals on a private basis, if you will, not for U.S. citizens. That being said, welcome to graduation day, guys. Take care. Don't forget to support the channel in any way, shape, form, or fashion that you can. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe on the way out. Some things should be populating. Check out some of these awesome things. Check out my logo. All right. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay wise, and stay woke.